it's time for a makeover. And I'm not talking this, although this needs it too. I'm talking what's behind me. Look at how messy <laughs> my office space is. Not only how messy it is, but it's very not practical for working from home. It's just a disaster. And let's get to it. do I look more put together, like a human at least? More importantly, look what we got. I feel like Vanna White right now. Okay, and then we'll come closer, cut closer. Yes, this is right. I recently just got the new Mac Mini 2 and I am so, so excited about this. One of the main reasons I think I'm excited, well, let's take away all the technical aspects. One thing I'm really excited about this is I get so many questions from you around what computer to get. I don't have a ton of money to spend right now. I'm a student, you know, I want to get into programming. I want to get into content creation, but I don't have the income to support buying these computers that might be thousands and thousands of dollars. This literally starts at $5.99. It is such an affordable and accessible place to start. If you are looking for a computer to program on, to content create on, to edit on, and we're going to dive into it today. Okay, as I mentioned, I got the Mac Mini with M2, and of course it has the M2 chip, which allows for the Mac Mini to get a boost in CPU, graphics, and ML performance. Also to unified memory and super fast SSD, M2 features an advanced storage controller with fast inline rate encryption. And also too, I'm using the studio display, which I absolutely love the studio display. It has it is 27 inch 5K retina screen, has advanced camera and audio, which is great when I am in meetings way too often. Nice. And also to the seamless connectivity. Okay, we have our beautiful new Mac Mini 2 setup. Beautiful setup. It looks, I mean like, can we place, I'm just sitting down here, can we place an image here or a video just to remind you what it looked like prior? Try and blur me out though, because what I looked like prior, we don't want to get. I'm so excited about this. Uh, and I want to take you through though as well, some other things on my desk that I really love for programming, for creating videos, for just working from home. I love working from home, but it can get kind of stagnant or if you don't have the right work environment, especially from home, it can get kind of depressing. So one of the things I get asked about a lot from all of you is my standing desk riser here. Let me back you up a sec. Okay, standing desk riser. I got on Amazon, just search literally standing desk riser. And it's one of those things where I don't really like what a lot of the standing desks look like. I think it's because they all kind of look cheap in my opinion. I haven't found one that looks expensive or I don't know. I like things that are grand and this table here is from Restoration Hardware. That's terrible. And um, it, it has like a really nice vintage feel to it. So when I got it, I wasn't working from home all the time. Otherwise I probably wouldn't have got it, but I still really love it. And I wanted to stand though some of the time. So I got this standing mount desk here and it has like a lever on the side here and you literally just lift it up. It's that easy. And then I can just work from here. And it just makes such a difference. I get asked all the time, I don't know why, but I get asked all the time, can you code standing up? Yes, I don't understand why that's even a thing. Uh, yes, I code standing up. Yes, I code sitting down. Laying down too, probably too much. Another thing I absolutely love is my Herman Miller chair. Let me pull you down again. Okay, look at this chair. It's beautiful. It is called the, I'm forgetting what it's called now. I'm gonna insert it here, what it's called. But this chair is, is expensive. It was, I think around, I think it was around a thousand dollars ish. And honestly, it was custom as far as the color goes, the uh, measurements, all of that. I love the back of it. It's so cool. Now, I got this when I was working from home and it was one of those pieces that was an investment. I knew I was going to be working from home. I wanted to have proper posture or ergon ergonomic setup and I purchased it. Gotta be honest with you, I love the chair. Do I sit cross-legged, hunched over like this all the time still? Yeah, I do. Is it worth it? That's up for you to decide, but I'm just being totally candid here. I love it though, I think it looks really interesting, and um, yeah, all right, let's get jumping into the, the tech stuff again. All right, 
24 hours later, we are back. Let me show you what the office looks like so far. I actually ended up setting up my new workspace, my new uh, Mac Mini 2, and then I was like, you know what? Why not just tidy up the whole house? So I got sidetracked, and now here we are back at it. I was using it this morning, so I wanna share with you some kind of productivity tools I was using for it. Also get into um, talking about coding on it, but first, let me show you what it looks like. All right, we are not gonna go this half. You can see Bugsy's bed there. We're just gonna stick here. I'll show you my whole office one day, but this section here, I am so happy with how it turned out. It looks beautiful. It's so sleek, sleek, chic, and clean. I need to do something about cord management, but it's just like, it looks lovely. All right, let's get into it. Also too, I'm using the Magic Trackpad and the Magic Keyboard with Touch ID. Okay, first thing I wanna do is dive into the Stage Manager. This is honestly, if you're like me, you have probably too many tabs open, too many applications open, and it gets very frustrating to keep track of. So this is what I've been using a lot, and you can see here I'm already using it. But before I show you that, let me share with you how to get started on that. Go up to the control pane here and ensure a stage manager is turned on. In this case, it is. So let's dive into a little bit of the apps I'm using right now. Uh, right now, you can see I have Google Chrome open. Essentially, I'm working on a tutorial for you around Python. You know I love making Python automating things. Actually, on that note, comment down below what you want me to automate next because I feel like we're automating our lives at this point. Uh, I also am doing a talk on modern web architecture. As you know, for uh, my day job, my nine to five is working in developer relations. Uh, one of the things that I've really been focusing on a lot is the architecture around building uh, different websites and different platforms. All right, also too, I have opened my emails, which we are not going to get into. We are not that personal here, but um, my emails here, so I can easily just be flipping between each of them. Also too, with the release of Mac OS Ventura comes Freeform, and this is an app I'm actually going to dive into in a separate video because there is, this. it could be a whole video on its own essentially, and I think there are so many interesting ways that we can use it for uh, specking out applications, our code, our talks, working collaboratively. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna insert a screenshot here of it, and stay tuned for another video where we will dive all into that app. Okay, let's talk about coding a little bit. We are going to be building a lot on this Mac Mini 2 and you'll see a ton of tutorials coming up with it. So I'm not going to dive into a specific tutorial for this video because this is more around my office setup and just setting up the Mac Mini 2 and getting into the specs around it, but a lot will be coming. And in the meantime, I'll link my GitHub down below so you can uh, clone any of the repositories, play around with them, tinker. I'm actually installing Xcode as we speak right now. I have specs here I'll insert of code compiling. So it's 3.2 times faster project build performance in Xcode, which is kind of insane. And it's especially considering going back to the start of this video when we talk about the price point for this and how it really is one of those things where you're a student breaking into the industry, or maybe you've been in it for a long time and you are just looking for a very reliable, productive, super high performance computer at a really great price. And I don't know, I get really excited about this because I think tech should be accessible for anyone and this is definitely in the right direction. And the last thing I wanna highlight is we are always using different pieces of hardware now. We live in a tech-centric world and I love that Apple actually keeps the environment in mind. I just think it's another area that shows how far ahead they are and what, how forward thinking they are. Actually, some of the materials that they use are 100% recycled, some of them. And it's really interesting if you are interested in green software, green hardware, there's so many articles to read on about that and how it affects not only today, but our future. I kind of get geeky about this because I worked with someone a few years ago who's a software developer and she was all for green coding and I learned so much from her. So anyways, I'll actually link her blog post down below because there's a lot of interesting uh, articles on not only green software and coding, but also the hardware and environment side of that too. All right, I hope you enjoyed going through my current uh, coding, content creation, just like all around workstation. This is pretty much where I live, I feel like 90% of the time. Wait one second here. Paul, how much time do I spend in my office? Probably like 95% of your time. <laughs> See, I'm not lying. During the week at least. Yeah, a lot of times also too, if I'm filming these videos in the morning, there's, I, Paul has to endure listening to me talk. I have to be very quiet. 
yeah, if you're just on the phone, I'm like, you gotta be quiet for these. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm linking everything down below again. If you have any questions, leave for me in the comments. As I always uh, say to you, I answer every single one of your questions. Feel free to test me on that. Leave questions down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all soon. Thanks everyone. Thank you.